I could work a circle, and he bends like a train track along a circle. And I sort of use the circle to help him bend. What if I kept the circle, the bend on the circle, but I moved him in a straight line? Very interesting. So now as I work my horse, we're going to focus on the lower back, the seat, and the weight. And what I would like to do is just work on a few turns on the forehand or offsetting the haunch. And what I'm doing is I'm right now bending left, and I'm using my left rein and my left leg, but my thighs are very important for this job. You know what a tuning fork is for like music? A, a tuning fork, it's like my torso is the, is the straight piece and then the U piece is my legs. So if I want to move his hindquarters to my left, well, I could squeeze the right rein and I could get his right ear back, see? And, and I could use my right leg a little bit where I could swing and soften my leg. I could, I could almost like squeeze, release, or swing and soften. But my right thigh comes back. Now my left thigh is going to come back. Now my right thigh comes back. See, and it could be done on a longer rein, so my right thigh could come back. And I would get a horse very clear on this. And if you do, they coil. So they start to really kind of slowly get under themselves. So you could play with this. It's almost like I'm pushing a wheelbarrow. And so his front legs is the front, or would be the wheel. So if I bring my right leg back, I'm bringing his right leg back, and it's almost like I'm just turning my wheelbarrow, and then I'm pushing it forward. The whip, I'll show you this. Pretend that my whip is so long, and my right leg is so long that I could bring it back and I could stretch it. Like I'm going to do it, I'll drop my stirrup. I'm going to pretend my right leg is touching his right hind leg. You see that? So my heel and maybe my whip, I'm going to pretend that I can get down and I can touch his right hind leg. Ready? Left hind leg. So I, pre I think about lengthening my left hind leg. Now you don't see me leaning, but, you, but I do think about lengthening that leg. See that? Now, it takes a little bit of work, and at first, you might not get it to that level. I've worked at it with this horse a little bit. So, but pretty soon, he gets soft. And then all of that energy he had, all that frisky, fresh energy that you think, darn it, I can't have this much energy with all these people watching me, and all of a sudden, it's like, hey, it's available. The life is there. I just have to be able to direct the life. But the hindquarters... Very much when we begin, people tend to use what we call lateral aids. And you'll see people, it's, you can do this, you can bend with one rein. And, and then the second phase is people start to kind of bring their hand up towards their center, and they might use a right rein, right leg. And, and does this look familiar? Do you kind of do this already? And it's not wrong. This is what we do in the beginning. And if my horse were rearing up, I would want to bend him. I would want to bend him. And bending is through their whole body. When we bend, they typically put weight on their front legs. Watch his front legs. So bending puts weight on the horse's front legs. I'm using left rein, left leg, and I'm using one side of my body, and that's what we call lateral aiding. But it's interesting because it does weight the horse down, but it's what you start with. As time goes on, we need to use both sides of our body more. And this is something when I work with people, I notice I'm like, they only know how to use their left side or their right side. It's easier. But to use both sides of your body, it, it needs to be something that's more natural and you work at more. But how many of you have heard in dressage, inside leg to outside rein? You've heard this, right? Well, that's using diagonal aids, both sides of your body. I will show you a turn on the forehand with diagonal aids. Here we go. I'll lift my left hand up just to demonstrate that I'm using my, I'm, I'm sort of supporting or blocking with my left rein. 
but I'll bring my right leg back. I pretend the whip is touching his hind leg, but I'm squeezing and releasing on my left rein, and so pretty soon you see him get straighter. And when they get straighter, they sit back. And it becomes more what we call flexion. Bending is more of the whole body of the horse. So bending is the whole body. Flexion happens more up here at the first cervical vertebrae, not the pole. Have you ever heard a horse breaks at the pole? No. The pole is the highest point of their head. That's why it's called the pole. They break at the first cervical vertebrae. But we do say that as trainers and instructors. We'll say the horse needs to break. It's the first cervical vertebrae. Here's the deal with this. If I can use, maybe start with a left bend, and I can move his hind, but now I start to squeeze and release my right rein, my inside leg to outside rein, pretty soon I can straighten him up. And I get a turn on the forehand where my horse is more straight. And it, you go, whoa, it's easier. Because when he flexes, they elevate the front end. Flexion elevates the forehand. Bending tends to bring the forehand back down. So this is pretty fun. And what we do is I start to get good with getting straight turns on the forehand, and then I start to tip him left as I take his hindquarters left, and that takes a little bit of practice, but now my horse is starting to bend in the direction he's going. So if he can bend in the direction he's going, well, that allows for a lot more lateral to come through. You know what I mean? So if he starts to wait the front end, these things can be hard. So if I can get good at that, I could work a circle. And he bends like a train track along a circle. And I sort of use the circle to help him bend. What if I kept the circle, the bend on the circle, but I moved him in a straight line. You see what I, I'll do it again. At any time I can fall back to a circle. And don't get heavy because your horse will just have to counterbalance that and fight that. So I circle and then I say, I'm going to go straight from the circle. You see what I'm doing? And then back to the circle. Dressage is a moving circle. Let's change rein, change direction, change bend. My left leg comes forward a little bit. I work this right rein. And maybe I'll walk him, give him a little break. And I'm circling. And if I take this part of the circle and I ride a straight line, this is that exercise I did with the turn on forehand, only now I'm walking forward. You see? And at any time, back to my circle. Now, if I'm riding straight towards you, but then I start to turn left a little bit and I freeze, and then I go straight, I ride the shoulders inward. I'll do this, this other direction. So if I were to, to sort of ride straight towards you, and now I start the beginning of a circle. Ready? So I'm turning left a little bit, beginning of a circle, but now... Inside rein, inside leg to outside rein. Now I work towards you. It's, a, it's, it's really a circle. It takes a little bit of time to get this. Now riding the haunches in is also a circle, and it's actually a 10-meter circle, but don't overthink it. So the bend of a 10-meter circle, if I think about this part of the circle, but then I ride straight, the haunch stays in. And now I'll straighten, and now I'm gonna turn and circle right. And if I were to ride straight towards like the announcer stand from here, I'm riding the haunch in. But don't get 
wrapped up on that, start with your turns on the forehand first, where you know that you could get your horse to stop and you could get your horse to, to do this or you could get your horse to do this. And when they're really soft and you're giving them a break, make them earn their stand and their rest. And I don't mean it like make them as in be mean. I'll show you what I mean. If my horse, if, if I know he's getting ready to halt, what I'll do is I'll say, just bring your rump to the left a little bit and now bring your rump to the right a little bit and bring your rump to the left a little bit and now stand. Stand. 